as she likes it. Or a bad day for Daisy. Daisy the diesel rail car only likes to take passengers along Tox's branch line. This leads to the other engines believing that she doesn't pull her weight. Surely you can pull one van, Percy sighed. I cannot, Daisy sniffed. Fitter's orders. I'd like to have a word with your fitter, Percy snapped. Cole is transported to the island by boat to the harbour, where a big engine takes it across the island. They drop off some trucks at the junction for Percy to take up to Farquhar. On this particular day, the coal boat had been delayed, and certain parts of the island were running low on coal. Percy was waiting anxiously at the junction. I can't wait much longer, he said. I'll be late. And I don't suppose Daisy's taken the milk, so that will be an extra journey. Thomas can take the coal trucks with his last passenger train, his driver decided. We haven't time to wait for the big engines. Agreed, Percy snapped. But when he reached the top station, Thomas was already there. Thomas, aren't you pulling the last passenger train? No, not this evening. Why? Because you needed to collect the coal trucks. And if you're not pulling the passenger train, that means... Oh no. Coal trucks? Daisy fumed. I'm not pulling those wretched things. The milk van is bad enough, but open wagons with filthy coal. No, thank you. Percy will have to fetch them in the morning, her driver said. We're wasting time here. Percy was annoyed to see Daisy arrive without the trucks. You didn't bring the coal, he exclaimed. You surely didn't expect me to pull those trucks, Daisy replied. I'm not a goods engine, I'm a rail car. Besides, they dirty my paintwork. Some of us like to keep up appearances. Some of us actually do work, Thomas butted in, and we help others. But you're just selfish and lazy. How dare you, Daisy shrieked. I just do the work I was built for. I was built for shunting, but I run a branch line, Thomas finished. Now good night. When the firelighter came in the morning, they were very worried. There is not enough coal for you all, they said. You'll have to wait until more arrives. Now look what you've done. Percy said to Daisy, you better go and get those coal trucks this instant. Well, I would, Daisy said, but I have passengers to attend to. You don't want them calling this a bad railway, do you? Daisy was enjoying herself. She had the whole branch line to herself, without any tank engines being rude to her. I could get used to this, she grinned. Wouldn't it be a shame if I didn't get those coal wagons? Then there was trouble. When she reached the top station, a lot of angry quarry workers were waiting. Hey, we need to get to the quarry now! Well, I don't run up to the quarry, Daisy snapped. That's Toby's job. Why isn't he... Oh. Oh dear. Fine, I'll take you to the quarry. She shuddered.
Daisy? Oh, Mavis. I thought running the branch line would be fun. But I can't do everything on my own. But you don't have to. That's what Thomas, Percy and Toby are there for. Oh, Mavis, you're so right. <sighs> I should probably go and fetch them there, Cole. But when she reached the junction, the coal trucks were gone. Oh no! Someone's taken them! I guess I'll have to get them from... the big yards! Daisy shuddered at her own words. The yards were noisier and dirtier than anything Daisy could have imagined. My fitter would not approve of this environment, she groaned. But it wasn't long before she had found some coal trucks. With a deep breath, Daisy was coupled up and she set off. She hated every second of it and was relieved when she reached the top station. Your curl, she said. She waited for a thank you. None came. About time, Percy snapped. Such a selfish engine, Thomas added. Nice going, Daisy, Toby finished. And for the next few days, none of them spoke to Daisy at all. It's not fair, she complained to Boko. I helped them out. I even went to the dirty shunting yards to get the trucks. But there was no thanks whatsoever. You went to the shunting yards because you couldn't manage the branch line on your own, Boko said. You weren't being selfless. You were being selfish. And the branch lines have no place for selfishness. Daisy fell silent. She had a lot to think about. Driver, let's take the milk. Are you sure? he asked. What will your fitter say? I'm sure he won't mind, she said firmly. So Daisy was coupled up and she purred away without the other engines noticing. And that afternoon, she collected two coal trucks from the junction without being asked, and did so without fuss. All through the day, she took on extra little jobs on the branch line, and by the end, she was exhausted. Hey, Daisy, I want a word with you. No, oh, what have I done now? Did you take the milk this morning? Oh, I did, and I'm so sorry. I thought I was being helpful. No, and... no, please don't apologise. That was very kind of you. I was on time with all my jobs for the first time in ages. He grinned. Oh, you're welcome. Daisy was surprised at how good Percy's comments made her feel. She suddenly forgot how tired she was. So oh, this is what Boko meant. And after that, Daisy continued to work hard. She's still bossy and highly sprung because that's who she is. But she understands the importance of working together as a team. The other engines are all very grateful and are a lot more kind to Daisy. And that is just how she likes it.